Mr. Gilardi, ambassadors, fellow Americans, visitors uh, from abroad. You are not the uh, quietest group that have come to uh, visit us on the uh, White House, but... Uh, yeah, but But uh, we're, uh, we're, glad to, uh, we're glad to see you here. I wonder how many uh, in this uh, audience comes from uh, different parts of the world. Perhaps first we'll start with uh, this hemisphere. How many come from uh, Canada or Latin America? And then uh, how many come uh, from Europe? I will divide Europe. How many from Scandinavia? <laughs> and then the rest of Europe. <laughs> and, then, and then Africa. <laughs> and uh, Asia, which we... And uh, Australia or New Zealand. Well, you're a small group, but we're glad to uh, have you here. Well, uh, we're... Uh, I want to, first of all, I want to first of all express my commendation to the American Field Service. I knew a good many young men who served in the Second War in the American Field Service in North Africa and in Europe. And I think their experience working with other armies, the Eighth Army in North Africa, with armies of a good many of your countries, gave them a sense that uh, we shouldn't have another war and also the importance of people working together. I hope when you go back to your country and you read uh, all the terrible things that they write and say about the United States, that you will occasionally remember that they are talking about a family in uh, Davenport, Iowa, or in uh, Massachusetts, or, uh, or uh, in California. <laughs> How many, uh, how many here come from California? <laughs> In any case, I hope you'll remember that, uh, these, uh, that the United States is not uh, it or a unit, but the United States are 180 million people who are going through uh, the same experiences that your people are going through, who suffer the same concerns, who I think live with the same idealism, who recognize that they fall short of their goals, but at least are attempting to carry out the very difficult and responsible task of self-government. This effort which has been made to bring you to the United States and bring the students of the United States uh, around the world has not been made merely to give you an interesting uh, year. It has been made because a judgment has been reached that you will be among the future leaders of your country, that you carry with you a sense of responsibility and commitment and that when you go home, you will not be a friend of the United States, but rather a friend of peace, a friend of all people, that you will desire to see goodwill among all nations, and that you will stand in your community, in your state, and in your country for those principles which motivate us all, all around the globe, a chance for everyone, a fair chance for everyone, and also for a world uh, in which we have some hope for peace. If we're able to do that, this will be the most remarkable generation in the history of the world. No generation has passed. No generation has passed without a war. War has taken up most of the time of the human race. And now we have the terrible responsibility at a time when we have weapons which will destroy the human race of working out means of living together. That is a difficult task. And that is what you should spend your life, along with pursuing your own private interests, that's what we hope you'll spend your life doing. And that your visit to the United States will serve not only to provide a link with us, which we hope you'll maintain, but also will broaden your horizons so that in your own country, you can be the kind of citizen of which they're proud, which they'll support, and to whom they'll look to for leadership. So we're glad to welcome you here today. I hope that, uh, 
I hope that you will write to some of the families when you've uh, gone home and uh, that they will write to you and that uh, someday you will come back to the United States uh, when I'm old and gray as a president or uh, <laughs> as a president or even uh, more importantly as a first lady of your country. Thank you.